Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my first update for my Panda Palette 2017. I can't believe a month already has passed by and it's time to update you guys on my progress. Um, if you guys haven't seen my intro video, I will link it up here. But um, if you do, if you've seen it, you know that I'm working on two palettes. One is a lip palette and the other one is a fa like a face palette. Um, so the face palette that I'm using is this one from Stila, the Not So Nude Stila palette. And this has six eyeshadows, a blush, and a highlight. And the other one that I'm using is this Vice Lipstick Palette from Urban Decay. This is the Ulta one, the one in Black Mail. So I'm going to start first with the Stila palette. And if I have a picture, I will try to insert it here right now so you guys can take a look at it. I, had, I, hadn't, I hadn't used it since this um, project started. I had kind of messed with the blush a little bit, but really hadn't used it. So that is my progress right there. And this is what the palette currently looks like right now. Um, as you can see, or I hope that you can see, I've already hit pan on the blush. Um, as you can see right there, I am using the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush to apply this to my cheeks. And I have quite a quite a pan there going on I use this blush every single day this is the only blush that I use and I only have product around the edges I'm finding it a little bit harder now to apply or get an even application on the brush because if I try to move the blush over here like the packaging itself gets full of the product so uh, I don't know if to like scoop it all up and then kind of like repress it towards the middle or just keep using it like that, I don't know. Uh, but that's where I'm at with the blush right now. The highlight, I really haven't used it. I have been focusing on this sh eyeshadow shade right here called Sugar. That's what I've been using as a highlight instead of uh, this one right here. And this creamy color right here, um, I'm using it to set my primer all over the lid. Um, and then these two colors right here, and this, this one I've used like once or twice. Um, so there's ha hardly any progress there, but these two I've using, I'm using, um, kind of using them together, blend, blending them together to use as a crease shade. Um, and then this dark purple color right here, I don't know, you guys won't be able to tell, but, um, there's a slight dip right in the middle because I've used that as, um, eyeliner, um, on several occasions. So I have found that these... Um, are very um, they kick up a lot of product I've said it before I'm very rough with my with my makeup and even if I feel like even if I just dab it like all this product comes out so I have learned to use it like this that way whatever kicks up doesn't fall into the blush because it is a cream blush so um, yes this one is in a project pen in the Sweden project panning project and I'm using it as a highlight. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. I'm using this Sonia Kashuk brush. It's a fluffy brush. This is very, very big. This is another crease fluffy brush so you guys can tell the difference on how big the Sonia Kashuk brush is compared to the other one. This one's from Mary Kay. Um, so because it's so big and fluffy, this is what I use to apply it. I think if I was wearing a, if I was using a smaller brush, I think I would have a big dip, but because this brush is kind of like the size of the pen, and I'm just swirling it around, I think I'm wearing down the eyeshadow pretty evenly. So I don't know, we'll see. But yes, that is the first update for this face palette from Stila. And the next one is this one from Urban Decay. I had shown it to you guys before. Um, this one was brand new, so this had no progress at all. I also insert a picture so you guys can see kind of what it looked like. But so far, this is what my product, my palette looks like. Excuse this little piece of paper there. So as you, oh, <laughs> the pencil fell. Uh, the brush, I'm sorry. So as you guys can see, I have hit pan on three of the lipsticks. This one is in Conspiracy. It's a metallic brown. And then this one in Vanished 
This is a very nude color. It goes on practically clear on my lips. And then this bright glittery pink is in the color Big Bang. And I've used it a couple of times and I recently um, included it or added it to my Rally, my um, Project Pan Roulette. So there you go. I have product on, progress on these two and this pink one right here. Um, I kind of got myself into trouble because I added so many lip products to different project pens. So I don't see as much progress as I think I would have had if I didn't have all these other lip products. Um, but yes, slowly but surely I am using those other products up and then I'll be able to solely focus on this one. My lips right now is this color right here in easy, the letter E, the letter Z. And that's what I'm wearing on my lips today. So there's no progress on this one, but um, I mean pen, but yeah. So there you go, guys. That's what my palette looks like. Uh, I, I mean, for being the first update, I think I have pretty good progress. I, I would have liked to have hit pen on one, some of the eyeshadows, but I mean, I already hit pen on the blush, so I'll take that. No problem at all. And that's it guys. I will be posting pictures on my Instagram. So if you guys want to want to follow along my um, progress there, uh, you're more than welcome. My name is at pa um, Panning and Stuff as well, like the name here on my channel. And that's it guys. Pretty quick update for my Panda Palette 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see how you guys are doing on your palettes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.